Now, just from your perspective, let's say you got a client that com comes to you and say, hey, uh, you know, I'm, I'm deciding between all in one loan or first lien HELOC. Uh, how, how can I make that decision? You know, is it going to be based off of the rate? Right. Because if that's the case, all in one loan is doing a lower rate. Last time I right. checked, they're, yes. are, they're around 3.75%. Last time I checked. So I just tell them, don't, don't do the all in one. Just come with, come with. <laughs> um, so, um, and I, I do joke about that. I, I, you know, I think that having fun and connecting with people is important too. Um, but, but all that being said, um, you know, our rates higher right now. When I think the last time I checked theirs, ours was also at 4.75. So I think, it, you I'm know, I'm pretty sure they went up. When, I, I think they did too. So I would imagine we're probably a point above theirs, right? A point, yeah, that's um, safe. That's safe, right? about a point higher. Um, and you know, if with the way that amortized mortgages work, that is a huge, huge deal. That's a reality. And I think that that is a, a, a one selling point um, for them that they have. That being said, one thing I do know about their product, I'm not sure how well known this is, is they, they have mortgage insurance with their product which is an additional fee each month that you pay, which digs into your cost. We don't have that. And so although our rates higher, got it. I would make the argument that the, the lack of mortgage insurance negates the cost that comes with a high rate. Okay. Um, so, so slow that down. So all in one loan has a required mortgage insurance. If you're going to go, I, I want to say between 80 and 90% loan to value. Yes. They do. Got it. Versus first lien HELOC does not require the, an insurance. In fact, whatever your existing homeowner insurance is, you, you just continue to keep paying that. Correct. So yeah, so First Savings Bank, we do not have mortgage insurance on a 90% loan to value first lien HELOC. So, but the client so I, still carry their own homeowner's insurance or am I getting confused there? Ah, ah, good, good, good question. I may have used the wrong term. So homeowner's insurance is going to be, you have to have half yeah, of insurance, yeah. right, insurance, right, right. right? Mortgage insurance is a little bit different. So um, you have to get mortgage insurance on all FHA loans, right? Mm -hmm. And it's an additional- uh, It's an additional insurance on top of the insurance that I already have, correct? Right, because, because the mortgage insurance, what that covers is the risk that comes from the bank leveraging more than they're comfortable with. So-, so does that make sense? So in order, you know, I don't, uh, I don't know the history, but my assumption is that before you could put 5% down, you had to put 20% down on homes, right? 20% is sort of the bread and butter amount to put down for banks. I am assuming they didn't have mortgage insurance before that. Now with mortgage insurance, now that it's a thing, what they do is they, they insure, you know, and it's all if, if the bar were defaults, right? Um, they insure the amount that's borrowed from 80% up until 95, right? Because the bank is leveraging more than they want to uh, or more than they're comfortable with. So they insure the amount that is higher than the, the risk threshold that, that they would be comfortable with without it. So, um, so basically the all in one loan requires mortgage insurance, MI, yeah. Um, and we don't. And so, you know, th there are different ways of structuring a loan to appeal to to the consumer, right? Yeah. The main one is the main one is is rate, right? And, and I understand that. Um, but when we break it down, we what I focus on a lot of times is cost, right? What's the cost? Correct. Well, you know, our rate is higher, which means it results in a higher cost. But if you have a lower rate with mortgage insurance, right? I would make the argument that it sort of negates that the lower rate because now you have to have a higher cost that comes with it. So that's one, one difference. Sometimes you um, have to bill the cost, you have to build the cost into your rate when you, in a have, way. when you have a consistent cost, such as mortgage insurance, when we're dealing with origination fee, appraisal fee, title and state, that's one time, one time, one done, time I now have yeah. it. There's no the way, the way I like to think about cost. that, the, the, the middle portion that you've got right there, the way I like to think about that is, that's paying the people to do the work to get the loan done. Yeah. Right. Uh, versus the ongoing cost it, uh, of maintaining the loan that you have with the bank.